to white the care from Melvani with us today we have scorpion child front man Aryan Jonathan black how you doing brother yeah I couldn't be better thank you for having me <laughs> Awesome, man. Good to hear that. Now, Acid Roulette comes out in another month and a half. Still a long time to go, but I'm sure you guys must be stoked to have the album finally out for the fans after three years. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the whole process just takes too long. Yeah, it's it's always a crazy process. And also, when you release a single and fans get to have a taste of it. So, you know, it seems to me, as I was checking that, that it created a level of excitement for the fans as well, because... It's been, you know, you have a new lineup and a, and the sound. You guys have been, you know, progressing over the period of time. So, how has it been so far from fans who heard "My Woman" in black? Oh, I think they're, you know, into it. I, it's, you know, we haven't put out a single yet, so it's, it's, uh, you know, it's cool to have them react so well to just teaser songs. Yeah. You know, I, I think it's. Uh, it's, it's I, I can't yeah i think i couldn't i'm speechless i mean I'm, <laughs> all the reactions all the reactions have been good to me you know that's good man and and also you know as as this is the second album i mean the, the sofa more album can always be the one that can make or break an artist somehow some guys meant to you know they go ahead and and, and find a great album after the debut where some kind of disappoint but with you guys it's been a great great journey i mean when I was listening to Acid Rhythm, I kindly felt that that it's exactly the feeling I expected from you, a next step in your career. I mean, how, how do you feel about this entire acceptance of your spectacular debut album and fans being excited to hear the next phase of the band? I mean, I think that the, I mean, it's a very exciting time. Uh, I, haven't whole, I haven't heard a whole lot of feedback from fans, obviously, because they haven't, you know, I think everyone's just kind of waiting for the record, but it, it's it's. Uh, I think I think there's a lot for everyone on that album. Mm -hmm. I think that that even even if they want to take a couple pieces out of the pie, they'll enjoy those pieces that they take out of it. Right. You know, I myself like to hear the whole piece of pie. You know. You can't really hear pie, but you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, absolutely. I get that. Yeah. And this also being the conceptual album, which you probably evolved in your mind, maybe during a dream or something about <laughs> about a game called Acid Roulette. So take us through this entire process of how this male protagonist, you know, eventually shaped up his entire, you know, story behind what happened with the wife and, and so on. Oh, he just came back uh, from one of his journeys uh, writing and traveling to find out that she was leaving him, seeing another man. He was very rich and powerful, this man. Mm -hmm. And they, uh, they, he, this, this man had him, uh, take the fall for a murder in the town that they live in. And, uh, in his absence, that was his, you know, his, his possession of guilt. So the, he went down. He went to trial and was convicted and had confessed uh, that he did the murder, or mm -hmm. else he was gonna, you know, life life was gonna be a lot harder for him. So he, uh, it was it chronicles more or less his time uh, in prison, having everything he loved, being his wife and his two sons, uh, right. taken away from him, and he'll never see them again. And it's kind of just the bereavement process of the death of. Of what that of which which he loved so dearly, uh, parting ways with him for another man. But the subject could also be a woman uh, coming back and finding out that the man mm -hmm. is with another woman. I mean, it's it's just a very common theme. It's not really yeah, a, right. It's not like a sexist ploy in it at all. It's it's very androgynous in this theme. Um, but you know, it's. Uh, you know, Acid Roulette was a game he used to play when he was younger with his friends out in the desert where they would, you know, shake up a jar of of blank, you know, cut up pieces of paper and then there would be a cut up sheets of acid and some people would get, you know, you would choose five different hits and some people would get three, right. you know, acid tabs and some people would get the placebo effect. So it was... Uh, you know, 
it was something he brought into the prison walls for escape. It was the only way he could take his mind off of, you know, the, this terrible uh, reality that he was right. suddenly in and deal with. So. Awesome, yeah. man. See, uh, when it's about a, a, a conceptual album, it also has to reflect in the music. So you guys have done that. I mean, I can give examples like Survives or even even the, the six minute piece Addictions. I mean, they have that, that sort of spirit of rock and roll and also that, that you know, bluesy vibe and the overall soul you guys have put into these songs, which more or less sounds like a journey as each song proceeds. But I also see a lot of time being spent on arranging the songs which is very important when it comes to a concept album was that difficult to you to you know manage this as the story proceeds it actually wasn't uh, i you know we spent a lot of time thinking about the arrangement of the songs but the guys usually leave that up to me because like i do all the segues and everything like that mm -hmm. once the tracks were all given to me before it goes to the to the mastering process um with over at howie weinberg's office they put it all together the way that i had it arranged mm -hmm. uh, in the mastering process so i think that what was really important in, in this is me like I have to sit around and have a lot of time to just listen and think about the sequence of how I want to it's almost like a putting a movie together like scoring right. a movie I have the whole image all the images in my head like sequentially how can the song tie in lyrically and emotionally with the with the subject of the next song right and i you know i'll smoke a lot of weed and just sit down and like listen in these really good headphones and really absorb the songs and then i'll make notes on the arrangement and maybe maybe swap a song out here and mm -hmm. and, and put a different title with it because it feels more winter than right the album's uh divided into four sides so four seasons uh oh, in nice. the year three three months for each season so it's 12 song album uh mm -hmm. with with the 13th song being segue your unlucky song right so never have an album with 13 complete songs <laughs> awesome it's, man. It's bad luck yeah so <laughs> the the 13th technically the 13th one is called seance it's a spoken word piece it's a chant it's a is it present on the deluxe culty. edition or something i'm sorry uh, is the 13th one present on the deluxe edition or something no there's actually you should have 13 songs in front of you no i do have the addictions is the last one six and a half minutes of of uh, yeah. yeah so there so there can't be a complete third it can be song number 13 yeah addictions but there's not a complete set of 13 songs ah i see you see what i'm saying right like one is a non-musical track so yeah. luck is still on our side right that sounds good man and also in terms of the new lineup you have a new drummer the new bass player the new keyboardist and of course you and chris are the backbone of the band so while writing was it a concern to hear the output from the new guys as you guys took a different approach by tracking the album live instead of what you guys did uh, on the debut album i certainly think it, i mean it was i mean there was a huge difference uh, we didn't really have everything put together when we went into the studio with frenchie and, and arranging everything collectively with him as the sixth member it was really it was really a, a super pleasant experience. Mm -hmm. uh, we we just discovered things about ourselves as musicians and boundaries that we'd never reached, and and we pushed those boundaries. And you know, it really made for a a, a more improvisational journey. Right. And it also has that organic live feeling, which I probably feel you guys were more, you know, looking forward to have that, and which which would sound even great when it's played live. So, you know, has there any plans been uh -huh. done to take this album on road uh, this year? Yeah, I mean, we've already done 
Well, we've done two tours in the last four months over in Europe, mm-hmm. like month-long tours. Uh, and we've been playing new material on both those runs. Mm-hmm. Um, but once the album comes out, yeah, we're, we're gonna, are you in Australia? You're right. Yeah, we'll probably have uh, a, a proper tour over in Australia that... You know, we'll we'll spend some time over there and hug some koalas. And, <laughs> That'd be good, know, man. Probably later this run, year or run, something. Run, run with the kangaroos. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Let's talk about your vocals. I mean, they are very different than what we hear on 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 a hard rock album. I mean, let's let's face it. That listening to an album was was a really different feeling as I you know, picked out certain points from your vocals, which really took me to a different path altogether. And and some of my folks were, were at home and I was, you know, playing this album and then some of them were not aware of the band. And, and immediately when the vocals came into the picture, they were like, wow, well, that's a totally different side, a different range, what you can expect from a hard rock artist. So I, su- I do feel that there's a lot of experiments you've done on this this album. Was it something which you're overall happy to see the outcome, the effort that you guys have put onto the album? Am I, am I happy? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic about it. I, I, I'm, yeah, I mean, we, everybody was just performing uh, like it felt natural to perform on this album and and I don't think there was any kind of uh, you know expectations that we had on each other that were That's cool. or limitations that we put into the music like everybody just gave their input and it worked you know kind of just fell into our laps awesome man just tied together very well yeah and I'm sure Chris has spent a lot of time with you guys while you know taking the the producer chair and working on it so you know what did he bring uh, to the table this time as compared to the past oh i think he just joined the band you know <laughs> as of as the mom as of another member yeah i mean he just he kind of does that you know and like really gets inside of our heads and you know we kind of get into it, you know it just becomes a relationship mm-hmm. And I think the relationship was stronger this time around. I mean, because we've already sued each other in court, you know, mm-hmm. in the past. So, like, we've had, you know, we've had the good and the bad with Frenchie. Okay. And we love each other. You know, we're 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 like a sitcom. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, you know, he's 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 a he's a character on the on the sitcom. And. uh... He plays a very important role in that, if that makes any sense to you. Absolutely, man. I just hope, I know, to see you guys back on road in Australia again. Have have a great time with your fans here, which is absolutely growing over the period of time. So before we conclude, Aryan, how about you You define the sound of, of acid roulette in, in just a sentence? Ethereal and extremely pissed off <laughs> extremely pissed off made much more sense because it definitely is <laughs> yeah awesome. but i mean you know there's there's delicacy in that yeah definitely being pissed off you know there's, there's, it, with, it, within reason yeah has its own charm isn't it yeah absolutely man very nice Thanks a lot, dude, that it's too late and, you know, you spared some time. I look forward to the release and good luck with the release and also the tour ahead. And I'll definitely catch you somewhere in Brisbane later this year. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Take care, brother. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye.